हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी सेक्शन मॉडल ऑफ डिफरेंट सेक्शन इन द लास्ट टॉपिक वी हैव डन वट इज सेक्शन मॉडल एंड इट वॉज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वांटिटी बिकॉज इट शोज द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द मटीरियल सो वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द सेक्शन मॉडल ऑफ डिफरेंट सेक्शन राइट सो से दिस इज ए सर्कुलर सेक्शन For circular section, we want to find out the section modulus. You know that by definition, what is section modulus? That is given by I by y max. And what is y max? You know that the distance of outer fiber of the material from the neutral axis, right? So this is the section, and this is a circular section. It has a neutral axis like this, passing through the centroid of this material, and uh, this is the outer fiber. Suppose this is the outer fiber. this is y max y max and this is the uh, dia of the fiber and y max will be d by 2 it is obvious radius right so this is the dia dia of this circular section so y max will be equal to d by 2 basically right and what is the moment of inertia of circular section you know moment of inertia of circular section that is equal to Uh, pi by sixty four d to the power four, right? This you should know moment of inertia of circular section. So this implies that z section modulus of a circular section will be equal to pi by sixty four d to the power four divided by d by two. So this implies z will be equal to z will be equal to uh, pi by thirty two d cube pi by 32 dq so this is the section modulus of circular section so we have taken the circular section solid circular section circular section right so we are finding the section modulus of a circular section is it isn't it right this is solid circular section we have taken the solid circular section now we can take further the hollow circular section hollow hollow circular section what is the section modulus of a hollow circular section this this come out to be pi by 32 d cube for solid section now we want to find out for Uh, hollow circular section so what is section modulus of a hollow circular section how to find out uh, suppose this is a hollow circular section like this and it has material in this part and inside it is hollow suppose inner dia is small d and outer dia is capital d this is capital d and this is small d right so what will be the moment of inertia of this i that will be equal to pi by 64 you already know that d to the power 4 minus d to the power 4 right you already know that right so moment of inertia is i by y max and what is my y max in this case outer periphery outer fiber that is capital d by 2 from the center from the center outer fiber from the neutral axis basically right so this is our neutral axis and from neutral axis this is d by 2 so this is capital d by 2 so what you will get you will get uh, the z as i by y max and that will be equal to i is pi by 64 d to the power 4 minus d to the power 4 divided by capital d by 2 so section modulus will come out to be this will come out to be pi by 32 pi by 32 capital d to the power 4 minus small d to the power 4 divided by capital d so this is the section modulus of a hollow circular section now in continuation we want to find out the section modulus of a rectangular section right so uh, solid rectangular section rectangular section 
solid rectangular section basically we want the section modulus away a solid rectangular section so what will be the section modulus uh, let us draw the figure first this is our solid rectangular section which has some uh, depth d and width b so uh, this is the neutral axis what will be the moment of inertia in this case that is about about neutral axis that will be b d cube by 12 right you already studied that b d cube by 12 and what will be the value of y max the distance of the outer fiber that is d by 2 d by 2 and depth divided by 2 half of the depth right so what will be the z z in this case that will be equal to i by y max so this will be b d cube by 12 divided by d by 2 so this will be equal to 1 by 6 b d square so z will be equal to b d square by 6 you have to remember this the section modulus for rectangular section b d square by 6 is it isn't it b d square by 6 so this is the section modulus for a rectangular section right now we want to find out the uh, section modulus for a hollow rectangular section so if this is hollow hollow rectangular section hollow rectangular section so what, what will be the moment of inertia of that let us draw the figure first suppose this is the figure this is width b this is width b of the outer fiber suppose this is capital d is the depth of the outer fiber and this is small d and suppose this is the material is this and it is hollow inside so b and capital b capital d and small d you, you should understand what is b and what is d this is capital b and this is capital d basically right and what will be the moment of inertia of this moment of inertia we have already studied about this this is the outer moment of inertia minus uh, inner moment of inertia about the neutral axis about the neutral axis so this is pi uh, b d cube by 12 right so this is b d cube by 12 minus b d cube by 12 and what will be the y max this is the distance of the outer fiber uh, from the neutral axis so this will be capital d by 2 so capital d by 2 right and then what is z so z will be equal to so z will be equal to this by this i by y max so what is i that is b d cube by 12 minus b d cube by 12 divided by capital d by 2 so this will be equal to so z will be equal to uh, 1 by 6 1 by 6 b d cube minus b d cube by capital d so this is the so this is the section modulus of a hollow rectangular section so this is how this is how we can find out the section modulus of a different sections.